from Los Angeles. This is Montserrat Radio. From Los Angeles, this is Montserrat Radio. This region has been thirsty and crying out for the revelation of God. For it was in the northern parts of California that I brought forth a movement, the Jesus movement. And God says now, and I choose you south. I wish to reveal myself in a way that I have never done before, says the Lord. New force. A new, innovative, creative church that will rush through the cities. They will take the marketplace by storm. Watch and see. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Something happened in this garden that triggered a word. What happened in the 60s and the 70s in California with this Jesus movement, I've already prophesied this, but he said this is the time for that major revolution. 
Now is the time. In the spirit of the war against fake news, Montserrat Radio presents The Fake News Show, conspiracy news and a different point of view of current events. And now your host, Benny Wilson. And welcome to the fake news show. This is your host, Benny. And let me disable this before I start sounding like an echo. Okay, everything is fine. Everything is fantastic. Everything looks like slow like a snail. But trust me, it's going very fast. It's going extremely fast. You have no idea. I just had a call. And um, because I've been paging this guy, you know, my, my elite contact, and he never returned my calls. And I just talked to um, Mario. Mario got nothing right now. And uh, I told him, look, my guy doesn't have anything too. You know, I mean, he hasn't returned my calls and something's happening, right? Something's happening. So I was, uh, you know, doing my show right now. And exactly as I was playing the song, he calls me. And he said this. He said, Benny, things are going so fast. I don't even have time to tell you. But just go ahead. Go on with your show. You're doing a great job. And uh, just be aware. Tell everybody. This is his words, okay? Tell everybody. Don't be surprised that at the same time, and this is guy. Oh, let me just say, tell you something. This is a guy who is not. You see, he's a non-believer. Okay, he doesn't believe in God, but his shock of every little thing is coming out. Okay, he's shock. This guy is. Um, he's a non-believer, but now, for some reason. And I talked to him already. He's uh, becoming to believe. I have the faith that he will become a believer. Very soon. So today he says, tell everybody. Don't be shocked or don't be surprised. That when the RB happens, at the same day, we will have international conflicts with North Korea. At the same day, we will have tremendous problems or war in Iraq. We will have tremendous problems in terrorism. And it's going to be chaos and panic. And he told me, just tell everybody, don't be shocked that at the moment that the RB happens, all these are happening. And that before he hang up, I said, hey, the prophecy says, the prophecy says that when things seem to be at the worst, he will deliver. And then he just, uh, he just, you know what, we're going to talk about it. And then uh, he hang up. So, you know, this is the things that about God, our Lord Jesus Christ, because, you know, he has, uh, he promised he was going to do marvelous, marvelous things this month. He just did, he did. And when you see everything coming out, prophecy is coming and working. And he's, he's, he's literally, literally destroying everything that you guys been told for more than 12 years. He's destroying all your fairy tales. He's destroying all your, your um, conspirations and all your so-called projects to become true, all that stuff. They're going to be destroyed because ultimately the truth will come out. 
the truth, okay? And things are not going to be pretty for those who insist to be in the same place, listening to the same crap. That's why it's gonna, it's, things are not going to be pretty, okay? So let's go back now and uh, let's, uh, let's do this show. Let's do the news right now. So let me, oh, before I go with the news, let me tell you what happened with our beloved sister, Rhonda, the lady who did that, um, who did this uh, video, this beautiful video, and I'm going to send that, I'm going to send it right now, our show. He hasn't responded to my email. He asked for, he asked for more information. Oh, one second. Oh, so, oh, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Don't do that. All right. So, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Hold on. These people are paging me exactly when I'm doing my show. Sorry for that. Okay. So, so anyway, um, hold on one second, guys. Um, hold on one second, guys. Um, so I was talking about Rhonda, right? So Rhonda, I'm gonna make it public our our email, okay? So everybody not understand what's the conversation between Rhonda and myself. I'm gonna make it public, okay? And I'm gonna tell you that the the email that I sent Rhonda, and I really want her to be in our show. I really do, okay? Um, and it says this is my first email. I'm gonna make it public. It says, uh, hi there, let me introduce myself, my name is Ben Wilson, and I have an online ra radio show called The Fake News Show. And I said, please do not be discouraged about the name of my show. I name it like this because I wanted to trick the establishment. After many attempts, they have tried to put me off the air. As you know, I've been off the air. The reason why I'm contacting you is this. I just broadcast my show, my show last night. And I play your YouTube audio about the baby being born. Let me tell you something, sister. I have information for you that will shock you. You're not aware of what is going on. Please accept my invitation to come out on my show tomorrow at 3 p.m. And the reason why I did my show at 5 because I was waiting for her call. But she never returned. And also I was waiting for my contest of the elite. And as I told you, just when I started my show, they called me. So, and that was basically, the, to summarize my email, she requests for more information about my, my show. And she asked me for a link. So I sent her last night my show where I actually spoke her video. And then she replied back and she said, uh, so how does this work? Can you send me more information of your channel and what you want to talk about? To me about i pray you don't mind me asking this is new for me i totally understand if she's listening to me uh, sister i really will enjoy everybody here will enjoy to have your own uh your own testimony of your dream we we found it shocking and beautiful because you just mentioned things that we've been told by god uh through his spirit that these things are going to become in, in reality and I ask you with all due respect to call me, give me a call back. I will, lo I will really, it will be my honor to have you on my show. Okay. Uh, so that was it. And then I, uh, the last thing I told her was my show is about the event that is about to happen this month. This event is called the RBE. It stands for Revaluation of the Iraqi Dinar. This event can potentially make millions of people rich overnight and bring hundreds of humanitarian projects around the world. Anyone who holds this currency will become rich, and so, 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 so. So I asked her to give me a call. I sent her my phone number, but she has not replied. Now I've been told by somebody who knows her very well that she probably, you know, she makes a lot of praying, and according to whatever the Holy Spirit tells her, she will do that. So if she does not want to call back, I totally understand. Okay, so that's it, that's it about uh, the situation with Rhonda. We wish her the best. If she wants to call, uh, it will be beautiful. If she doesn't, it's okay. It's totally fine. 
So let me uh, just let me uh, do this thing right here because a lot of people have been sending me their emails today. I I respond there about 200 messages and it comes to a point that I was about to disable my private message. Um, so I'm going to ask you something to all of you in Facebook who you basically have access to my private message. Um, make sure that when you ask a question, it's not for playing. Okay? If you don't know nothing about buying currency, for example, let me just give you one example. Somebody asked me, uh, listen, there's a currency in Vietnam. Which side should I, should I buy, south or north? And I was like, what? I don't know anything about that. All I know is that when I buy currency, I go to the store. I don't like to order by online. I go to the store and I say, do you have Dawn, Vietnam? They never ask me, which side do you want, north or south? Then he sent me an article. I totally got me on guard. I don't know nothing about it. All I know that the Dawn, regardless of which side it is, it will be exchanged, okay? So don't complicate your life. Don't try to... Don't try to um, make a debate out of this. If you just want basically a simple question, yes, ask me a simple question. Okay? And now also for those people who don't like for me to just give in the thumbs up, not a finger up, but the thumbs up, understand that I have to respond hundreds of messages. I don't have time to even put type yes or no or maybe I don't have that time for that okay there are too many people and too many once they see me online they start going bizarre on me asking a lot of questions even questions that I already answered on my show okay so before you ask me a questions any question please review that show Please review it because I probably already answer it. Okay, so many people are doing this stuff, and I think they're making it like uh, just wasting my time. To tell you the truth, because I already answered the question. I ask even politely, please watch the last show. I answer your question, and they keep asking me. So since I know that you guys are doing it because you want to get on my nerves, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna block you. All right. If you think that I'm stupid enough not to know that, I'm going to block you. I've been blocking a lot of morons right now uh, on a daily basis. I have said it openly. Just yesterday, I blocked seven people. Why? Because they've been delivered by other morons that hate me because I tell them that their private groups are a fraud. So I know what, they, what they're doing. I already know what their intentions are. Just take a look at the people that right now are responding on my post. Many of them don't even have a picture on it. They are fake accounts. And I'm watching what they're saying and what their opinions are. And before you know it, I've been attacked viciously. So I, I may not have the time to go and watch your opinions and your attacks. But trust me, you're an idiot. If you think that you're going to be wasting my time, that I'm going to be debating on you, you're an idiot. I'm just going to block you. Okay? Now, let's go back to the news. Uh, so the news is like this. Uh, I also have... This is the news right now. Notice about this news. I'm going to post this on my Facebook page. Okay? It says, Urgent. A bull gate to a body. The referendum crisis is getting better and there are signs of a breakthrough. Okay? That's the that's the uh, that's the title of the news. What happened is that um, they all saying that after Kirkut tried to independent uh, getting independence and Kurdistan tried to get independence, both of those zones, those are regions. Now we can see that Iraq is going to is going to revalue. They're going to raise the value because the last thing they want is having those very important regions separate. 
Okay, so that's the breakthrough. Notice that this word breakthrough is in the prophecy. Okay, you want me to tell you where's the prophecy? Let me let's read the prophecy. All right, so the prophecy says that uh, there will be a break in the system. Okay, therefore there shall be a break in the financial system. Why is the financial system? Well, I told you before. Banks right now are working on playing with the price of oil. Let me give you another another example of what I'm talking about because the news are coming out and they're fantastic, okay? Let me go to the news right now. Urgent. A United States company was well, that's Chevron, that's Chevron, okay? Suspends his operation in the region after a warning from the oil ministry. I'm going to place, I'm going to post this uh, news on my Facebook page. The United States oil company suspending his operation in Kurdistan region after a warning by the oil minister on Thursday. Chevron said today that the temporary suspending the oil gas activities in Kurdistan in the latest setback to the region. In the wake of the recent unrest, Chevron has decided to suspend his operation temporarily. A company spokesman said a statement that we remain in a regular contact with the Kurdistan regi re regional government and look forward to resuming his operation. Notice that these people are so visually corrupt, even the people in Chevron. But this, this they do it in such a way that just they just gonna let you know. What you want to know or what they want you to know. They're not going to let you know the truth. And the truth is right now is that they are working to raise the value of the oil. That's when the prophecy says, look, the oil is going up, up, up and down, down, down. The devil is playing Jojo on you. Why the why the prophet said the devil? Because these people manipulate everything to their what whatever they want to do. Okay? That's the way they do it. So God, through his prophet, King Clement, is telling all of us this is the way it's gonna be played out. Okay? We still, and also, check this out. In the same prophecy, he said, look for a break in the banking system. Now, let me give you the, the news about the banking system. Okay? All right. So, let's go to the news for the banking system. Uh, this is for oil. This is for oil. And this one is for, nope, not this. Okay, the banking system right now, they're, they're informing all the people, okay, all the people that uh, they're getting in contact with the United States banking and, and the United States banking sector right now are, uh, uh, are considering, oh, here it is, the United States Treasury. We pay attention to the development of the private banking sector in Iraq. Let me re repeat that again. This is the title of the, of the news, and let me tell you what's going on. United States Treasury, we pay attention to the development of the private banking sector in Iraq. Why they're paying attention to Iraq? Well, simply because they're going to raise the value. They need to develop, they need to synchronize their packages that they will offer you when you walk into the bank. Remember what I told you, what, I, what the lead told me. Things are going to change, right? The whole process is going to change. All right? So, right now, they're looking for, for the government of Iraq telling, okay, listen, a lot of people are going to change. What can we offer so they can basically invest in your country? What's the return of interest in your country, etc., etc., etc.? Now let me read that article, please. The United Treasury announced on Friday that it attached great importance to the development. The development means the reconstruction of the country. 
of the private banking sector in Iraq, indicating that it is optimistic about the opening of relationship, relationships, relations between the Iraqi banks and the United States banks. The Iraqi banking delegation visiting the United States of America held a meeting with the United States Treasury in Washington in the presence of Marsha uh, Blaseya, Secretary of the Treasury of the Financing Terrorism and Financial Crimes, the Association, the Association of Iraqi Private Banks, say the press release. So, they signed, let me tell you what happened. They signed all the documents for the RB, all of them. They have already the rate. They will, that once they reach the RB, after the, the dinar floats and end up in the stock exchange, once it reaches the price, it will be international, okay? What is, once that price reaches as according to the agreement between the United States and Iraq, it will go international and all of you will be able to go to the bank and exchange. That's basically it. This is the reason why they come, to, they come over to Washington to talk to the banks so every bank over here in the United States be ready for this. It is a global, it is, is it a global event. Yes, it is. But like I said, if we don't do it, there is no RB. Okay? So there's got to be something else. And that something else is the gold standard. Okay? It is the gold standard. And watch, watch how the oil prices, the oil prices changes. It will go up, it will go down, it will go up, it will go down, and eventually you will see also the changes in the gold price. Okay? So these things are going to get together because it's, a, it's just a plan that needs to be implemented in order for the revaluation of that currency stays in a fixed rate. Now, we all waiting for introductory rate, okay? We all waiting for that. We don't know exactly what they want to actually give us. We be, we think that they will be first of all. We think that they will be introductory rate one to one or one to twenty, whatever. But let me tell you what I heard. That may not be the case. Okay. That may not, that potentially may not be the case. We may end up with a total revaluation of the currency. Three plus. Okay, three dollars and plus. All right? So, I'm talking about the dinar. Don't ask me about the dong, about the dong or the Zimbabwe. I don't know nothing about it right now. Nothing. Okay? I don't know nothing about it. If I knew, I would tell you, stop asking me right now there are three people asking me for the same question what about the Zimbabwe nothing nada stop asking me all right thank you all right so uh, let's see let's see what's the other news now this news not many people pay attention to this news let me just tell you what's, what's going on this is on the uh, media. Tillerson, you know, the secretary. Uh, actually, the, yeah, the, Tillerson attend the first meeting between Saudi Arabia and Iraq. Okay? Why is he, is he having a meeting with Saudi Arabia and Iraq? Again, the oil prices. They are, the elites are already getting together to start the oil prices. Watch after he da is done with that meeting. Watch the oil prices go up and go down. Watch. Okay? I'm just telling you right now because it's obvious what they're doing right now. They're just going for the oil prices. They know that the oil prices are very important in order, in order for the dinar to happen. Okay? So, hold on one second. Let me see what I can do over here. Okay, I got it. All right, so now let me let me give you another another uh, another news, guys. 
Um, I was told, I was warned before they even sent me this video. I was warned about this. Um, last Sunday, I told you guys that I wanted to change the name of my radio show. Okay? And all of a sudden, they came out to me and said, you know, don't change the name of your, of your radio show. And I, I'm not in the position to say, why not? I just have to listen and obey. I don't want to get into their bad mood. Okay? So this, boy, this, uh, this is the reason why my show is called, is called The Fake News Show. Okay? And then all of a sudden, they send me this video. So I'm just going to play... I'm going to play that little part, what I'm talking about. Watch how everything developed because things are going to be great for all of us because we're going to have money. But not everything is going to look good, okay? Because, again, Satan wants to destroy us. And if we don't get united, if we don't, if we don't get united, we are going to be destroyed. Okay, why? Because Satan, you see, our enemies, they know they cannot beat us outside the country. The only way they can beat us is inside the country. We are, we're not united anymore. We're not united anymore. And that's their purpose. They want to separate. They've been working into a civil war and destroy us all. So we need to unite from now on. We need to be awakening and we need to unite before they actually do this thing. Okay? It would not be worth having all those millions of dollars knowing that we, go, we are living in a war zone. Trust me what I'm telling you. I came from a war zone. You don't want to be living in a war zone. It's not worth it. Okay? So let me just play, let me play that, uh, that video. It's from uh, W22 Report, and this is what it says. Okay, let me see. Okay. Russia, Obama, the uranium deal, extortion, bribery, some people taking bribes and things like that, going to speeches, going into uh, different funds. And we see at this point that this type of news now is gaining traction actually trump is tweeting about it and the corporate media is kind of talking about it but not really they're kind of hands off right now but there is an fbi informant that was looking at the details looking at the information and this fbi informant is being threatened right now not to say anything and the informant right now the code name for this person is confidential source one says that when he attempted to come forward last year with information that linked the Clinton Foundation directly to the scandal, he was promptly silenced by the FBI and the Obama administration. And we see at this point that they don't want anyone talking because this is the real story. This is what the corporate media doesn't want anyone to know about. This is what the Clintons don't want anyone to know about. This is what Obama doesn't want anyone to know about. And like I said, these truth bombs, they are coming out and they're coming out all over the place. And eventually they're going to gain traction and people are going to ask questions and this is going to gain momentum. Just like the spying on Trump. Everyone said this is ridiculous. This didn't happen. And then as people looked into it, well, it did look like it happened. The Russian collusion story, that was completely fake, phony and false because that was made up by the intelligence agencies, by the cabal, by the corporate media. Now, what's very interesting is that the former FEC chair, and her name is Anne Ravel. She's a Berkeley lecturer, and she's a former FEC chair. She has created this disinformation crack crackdown paper, and she's saying that the government needs to control the disinformation on the internet. And basically what she didn't do is really describe what she means by disinformation. Now, she's pushing a proposal that she said she laid out in a paper to combat fake news. And the regulation would include the targeting of people who share stories deemed fake or 
dis disinformation by government regulators. In addition to new rules on paid ads, Ravel wants fake news to be regulated under her proposal titled Fumi Wants the Case for Government Regulation of Fake News. If adopted, a social media user would be flagged for sharing anything deemed false by regulators. Well, let's just look at this for a second. First of all, the corporate media was out there and they were saying that this Russian collusion was a true story. The alternative media saying, well, we looked into this. There's nothing here. Um, Project Veritas went undercover and proved that this was a nothing burger. They had nothing. It was all completely made up. So at this point, it looks like the corporate media was spreading disinformation. And this is where the problem comes in because who are they going to actually stop? Is it going to be the corporate media? Is it going to be the alternative media? Well, we know it's going to be the alternative media, but we can see what they're trying to do here. And so basically what she's trying to do and what her paper is proposing, and I quote, after a social media user clicks share on a disputed item, if the platforms do not remove them and only label them as disputed, government can require that the user be reminded of the definition of libel against a public figure. Libel of a public figure requires actual malice defined as knowledge of falsity or reckless disregard for the truth. Sharing an item that has been flagged as unique, un, I mean, as untrue, might trigger liability under the libel law. So basically, if you share a story and they deem it as disinformation, you'll be liable. Well, now they want to lie about us. What is the name of my show? The Fake News Show. Who do you think they're going to go after? They're going to go after me. I'm just one little, little seed on the sea. A little fish on the sea. This is what many people don't want to recognize. The reason why I've been out is because the elite, when they I say something they don't like to hear, they don't want you to listen to, they take you out. Simple. Now they want to generalize it. They, they actually want to implement this as a law. So, you need to understand the value of you know, freedom. The value of freedom of speech. They want to kill our value. They want to kill the only information that you probably find that is better, more trustful than the media is giving you. And it's happening right now, right behind our backs, believe it or not. Behind our backs, they are doing it. Just like they did with the Patriot Act, which is criminal against the Constitution, now they're going after us because they know we, and I say because I am part of that community, we are the ones who are telling you the truth. We are the ones who are giving you the news and we providing you with information before they lie into you because the devil is a liar. And that's how they've been manipulating all these events all the time. When they created the, the internet, let me just tell you something for those who don't know nothing about it. Before they created the internet, they talk about the internet. But the internet did not have a, a name. They used to call it the information freeway. That's the way they used to call it. The information freeway. So why is a freeway? Because it will flow free. Alright? It was flow free. And nobody actually understood exactly what it was about. So now that you know what it's about. If you care about your freedom to understand if you care your, about your freedom to be able to have my contents, and not only my contents, because I'm nothing about it. I'm just a little fish in the sea. I'm talking about people who even sacrifice their own life on the line, like John, Alex John. Yes, Alex John is a stupid idiot. Yes, I know that. He's a clown. Yes, I know that. But that clown is, dest is destroying the establishment. 
that clown is giving you news that you're not going to get it anywhere. That's why they want to shut us up. Because we are bugging their plans. Okay? Here's Mark Dice. The same thing. There's a lot of... The majority are conservative media. And we are the alternative media community. They are going after us. Call your representative. And tell them. Don't shut my freedom of information. Call them. Call your senator. Whoever you are. Wherever you are. Call your senator right now. Call your representative right now. And tell them. You don't want no law passed. That will limit your information. You tell them that you want the freedom that the constitution protects. Do it now. Today. Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't even think that what I'm telling you is a lie. It is not a lie. They doing it right now and they are trying to pass the law right now behind your back just like the same way they've been doing it by little by little taking your rights away from you, from me, from everybody. Do it today. If you really care about the information that you that you right now taking care of, that you feel that is making a difference in your life, do it now. Right after I finish my show, call your representative. Please. I beg you. Because if that if they going to implement this and they pass it, you're not gonna hear me anymore. You're not gonna listen my you're not going to listen my show anymore. I will have to retire. I will have to leave and that's it. I'm not gonna deal. I'm already sacrificing my family. Because, as I said it before, I haven't even been able to work because of the time that I've taken to inform you, to get intel, etc., etc. And now they want to shut me out. I'm not going to be able to be around for too long. Okay? So, if you really care about the things that you're watching, even if they look fake, listen... I even enjoy the fake news, to, to tell you the truth. I laugh myself a lot. I just posted something that says that, uh, you know, the, uh, the captain and the, and the captain of flight, they took a knee and they left. I was laughing my ass off. I was like, yeah, that's so, that is so stupid, but it's so funny. You know, but I enjoy it. We know it's fake. It, didn't, it never happened. Okay? We know it's fake, but that's the, that's the beauty about freedom. That is the beauty about freedom. You either bring up the fake and the false, and you bring up, and you bring up the truth. Okay? So do it now. Do it for your kids. You do it for yourself. Do it for the future of this country. Do it for your world. You're talking about humanitarian projects. You can do it right now. Call your rep. Because this is a humanitarian project for you. You are guaranteeing the freedom of information. All right, so let me just go back over here and and, um, and uh, let me answer some questions because probably a lot of, I got a lot of people here in my server. Uh, let's see if you have any questions. Uh, yes, I am bull. Yes, this is Bush. Oh, goodbye. By loser. Okay, uh, all right. I got a I got a troll in my server. I'm not surprised. Uh, we are adults and can decide for myself. Thanks. If you don't like anything, Seth and friend Benny, and stop coming to the show. Yep. Yep. There's a I got a I got a I got a troll called Papa Bear Mark. And as soon as I find out who you are, I'm gonna block your behind. Um, yep, I'm having a lot of issues on my server right now. Yep. Okay, that's that's fine. That's totally fine. I was expecting this, uh, you know, sooner or later. These are idiots. 
Okay, so basically, you need to understand that uh, if you pay attention to negativity, that's what you're going to bring, negativity. When you see a lot of people attacking you, they're really not attacking you. They're attacking your message. They're attacking the, the subconsciousness, okay? So don't pay attention to those morons. I, what I do when I have a... a when I have a control about it, I just block them out. And right now, they they know how to get into my 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 um, my server, and now they are actually actually attacking my server, which that's fine. I find out who this guy is, and that's it. So anyway, I also want to tell you about the other news. Here is hold on. Um, oh, that's that's about it. Oh, I want to bring up something else. For those people who um, join me in Electronium, Electronium, the, the, the ICO, the currency, let me tell you something about it before I leave. Now that you join, and I want to I wanna thank everybody who actually joined behind me, joined under me. You are in a beautiful, perfect situation right now. Let me just tell you why. November the 1st, there will be a big exchange so electronium will become a cryptocurrency okay so a lot of people they already collected 40 million dollars from everybody who joined they collected 40 million dollars to the development of this cryptocurrency when they go live when they go live for cryptocurrency your account will become they will tell you the the, the directions to actually have your own wallet for your ICO. It's not gonna be ICO anymore. It's gonna be. It's gonna become a cryptocurrency. Okay. So let's assume that um, in the market, because of demand and supply, it goes up to five cents. All you gotta do is do the math. If you have over a thousand, uh, a thousand um, ICOs, every single ICO is a it's a cryptocurrency, okay? So let's assume they go 50 cents. A lot of people will make millions, okay? Let's assume that it's $1. You're going to make a lot of money. You're going to make tremendous money, okay? So November the 1st is the date. I'm going to keep you posted. For those people who will not be able to actually buy the currency, don't worry about it. Because after November the 1st, you'll be able to buy that currency, we are expecting that the first day, at least, that currency will go five cents each. At least, okay? It may be bigger, it may be less, I don't know. It may even be drop. Who knows? But I believe that this currency is going to go big, okay? Just to let you know that. So, uh, now that I'm going to also introduce you some other import opportunities to buy on cryptocurrencies... For those people who wants to be part of this, I need you to start opening an account in Bitcoin. I'm mean, sorry. Uh, I need you to open an account on Coinbase and Coinmama. Okay. If Coinmama is not available in your state or area, let me know. I'll show you some other ways. But you need to open an account in Coinbase. Every single platform that you can find where you can actually buy Bitcoin. Get in there, register, and verify your debit card or credit card. So you'll be ready to buy Bitcoin when you want to fund or want to buy the iCos that I'm going to do to you. Or this kind of opportunities that are coming by. Trust me, I did not know that they actually deployed this in September. If I would have known, I would have tell you, but I didn't know. Okay, why? Because I've been very busy with the intel that I'm providing you. All right. So I'm also gonna bring some other opportunities with cryptocurrency. Oh, and by the way, let me just tell you something that I've been told. Starting November first, the new wealth, the new distribution, the biggest distribution of wealth will start. Are you listening? Starting November first, a lot of people will become multi-millionaires and millionaires because there will be this exchange and all the cryptocurrencies 
will revalue or will it devalue at the same time? Right now, the Bitcoin, the king of kings, the, B, the king of uh, all the cryptocurrencies, has reached $6,000. Who wouldn't know, right? And um, so you need to pay attention to this because if you're only paying attention to the RB, you're going to fall behind. I've been telling I've been telling it, telling everybody to get involved with cryptocurrencies. Get involved with cryptocurrencies, okay? You're falling behind. You don't need to you know you don't need to invest very little money. I mean very very large uh, type of money. You don't. As little as $50 you can start off. Okay? In, that's in everything. In buying cryptocurrency and buying Bitcoin, in everything. As little as $50, you can start off, okay? So, I will tell you more about it. I will do a Facebook Live tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to do a show tomorrow. And the reason is because um, we are waiting for something big to happen tomorrow. Will that be the RB? Maybe. Okay? Maybe it's going to be the RB. I don't know. And why am I saying this? Because, like I've been telling you, when the RB happens, everybody's going to be shocked, including me. Okay? So, if it is the RB, I still need to see if their banks are ready. Are they ready? As far as I know, they are not ready. The banks are not ready. As far as I know, if I wouldn't know that they are ready and they're telling me, Benny, you know what? We are ready. I'll let you know. Okay? But as far as I know, they're not ready in the United States. And if they're not ready in the United States, trust me, they're not ready anywhere. They're not ready in Canada. They're not ready in Australia. They're not ready anywhere. Okay? So, that's part of chaos and panic. Okay? So, Take it like that. If something really, really big happens tomorrow, I will do a show. If nothing big happens tomorrow, I'm just going to do Facebook Lives. And those Facebook Lives will be just to introduce you to more investment opportunities. Okay? And maybe I'll give you something to give you as news or intel. But that's it. Alright? So, thank you so much for your attention, guys. And I'm looking forward for tomorrow to see if something really good happen. For now, God bless everybody. And I'll see you around. And be ready. Be ready. Because this thing is about to blow. Bye-bye now. Thank you for listening to The Fake News Show with Benny. See you next time for more conspiracy news, current events, and intel from the most controversial show from Montserrat Radio.